All right, all right, all right. Hey, everybody, my name is Abi Golhar. I'm answering a lot of questions today about wholesaling and giving you a little bit of a process. Now, if you're new to real estate, it is really, really important that you just start off wholesaling first. You don't have to put a lot of money in the game at all. And it's a really good way to understand your market, your type of investment strategy that you're gonna use, and most importantly, your overall mindset. So let's dive in, let's give you a couple basic steps about wholesaling that you need to know right off the top, right off the cuff, okay? So step number one is to find the right deal. Now, there are so many courses about this online, there's so many different ways that you can find deals. My number one way to find deals, you guys ready? Number one way to find deals, gotta drive for dollars because you know what this does a lot of things it gives you an intimate knowledge of the market okay it gives you exactly what you need to know so when you speak with your buyer the conversation is different believe me I buy real estate in Atlanta in Charlotte in st. Louis and now starting to in Jacksonville Florida I know when a wholesaler doesn't know what they're talking about in terms of their local market the second way yellow letters and postcards now there are a lot of different templates that you can use so make sure that you pick the one that you feel is most appropriate and go from there those are the two ways that i like to find deals and it is super super cool now my third secret secret way you pay attention secret secret way on finding deals working with other wholesalers there are so many wholesalers that are more experienced than you in a market there even i live in atlanta there, there are a lot of people in atlanta that know atlanta better than i do and there are a lot of wholesalers in atlanta that focus on different zip codes in different neighborhoods get to know them become their best friends and guess what now you have a steady pipeline of deals that you can count on over and over and over again okay so that's how you find your deal how do you evaluate your deal once you found it you're not just going to put it under contract, right? You're not just going to work with the seller and sign your name on a contract that says I'm going to buy something. No, bad idea. What you're going to do is you're going to evaluate that deal. You want to see how much in repair that property needs. And then you're going to take the total amount, okay, the, the asking price of the seller plus the renovation cost. I'm looking at my hand and making sure that, the, that, that this number goes up properly. So let's say you're under contract at 50,000 or the seller, excuse me, is asking $50,000 and you find out because you're inspector sleuth and because you're diving into every nook and cranny of that house to find the repairs that are needed, that the total repair cost is $25,000. So you're gonna take your acquisition price of $50,000 you're going to add to that $25,000, which is now a total of $75,000. You want to make sure that that $75,000 is significantly below where the market is currently selling. To give you an example of this, if the market is selling homes at $100,000, you want to make sure that you're coming in between 65 and 70% of that $100,000. Why? Because when you Step number three, work with your buyers. You need to make sure that you're giving your buyers a heck of a deal and you're carving out a little piece for yourself. And that's your fee. That's your money. That's what goes into your bank account. So to review, recap, you with me? Say yes, nod, yes, you're with me. Step number one, find deals. Step number two, evaluate those deals. Step number three, find your buyers how are you going to do that super easy you're going to go to different blogs you're going to stay on connected investors you're going to get in touch with me baby because i know that you're going to get in touch and do deals with me so get in touch with folks you can go to your local meetups as well that's a really good place to do it just like when you're knocking on doors you also want to make sure that you're shaking as many hands as possible with potential buyers that's how you do it those are the three three steps one find your deal two evaluate that deal three find your buyer and I guess maybe the fourth, make some money. I'll see you guys next time.